welcome back. Today, this is going to be a pretty short video, but I'm going to show you how to upload fonts to GoodNotes. Um, sometimes you might purchase a font or just have a font that you've created yourself that you want in GoodNotes and just having it on your, you know, on your iPad is not going to get it into GoodNotes. So I'm going to show you the process. So first I'm going to show you the process all the way from downloading it. So I just went to um, defont.com, which gives you free fonts. I typed in handwriting to find like a cute handwriting font. So I'm going to click download and it is going to download and it's called handwriting 16. So I always try to pay attention to what it's called because if you forget, then that kind of makes it more difficult. So recent, I'm going to go to this. It's a zip file. So I'm going to unzip it. And here it is right here. Oops. Okay. So there's the font. So right now it just, it, sometimes if you click on it, it'll just upload to Procreate, which I don't need it to do that. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna go to the app iFont. So that is the app you'll need to download. It is for free. There is like a premium version, but as you can see, I don't have it. So I have downloaded many, many fonts and like all these fonts and I've never purchased anything. So go to the, font, the app iFont and then you click this open files and you can go to recent or, you know, just go type it in and find it. But I know it's called, it's this handwriting regular. So I'm going to click open and now it's going to go right there and it says install. So I'm going to click install and it's going to pop this up. I'm going to say allow and I'm going to click close and then I'm going to open my settings. So then you just wait a second and it pops up and you see this new little thing right here that says profile downloaded. So I'm going to open that. It's going to pull this up and I'm going to say install, install, install. And now it is installed onto my iPad. So you go back, it'll say font saved and it's been installed. So I usually close everything out just because there are times where it'll take a minute for good notes to kind of update that it has it. So sometimes I'll even exit out of my stuff and then re-enter it. So I've exited out of everything and I just find that works better. I will be honest, there have been times where I have had to like turn off my, my iPad and then turn it back on and then the font will show up. So just be aware of that if you need to do that. So I'm just going to type in work, highlight it, and then type in handwriting so it'll pop up. And there's the font. So now we have the font in GoodNotes. Now, the one thing to remember is these fonts that you download are only for GoodNotes are only on this device. And so if you have multiple devices you use, like if you, you know, use this, use GoodNotes on your computer, use GoodNotes on another iPad, a mini or something else, or your phone, you will have to do that same process for everything. So what I do is when I have a new font, I will now um, go send that font that I just downloaded to my computer. I will send it to my phone. I will send it to my iPad mini so that no matter where I look, I, the fonts are syncing. Cause sometimes you might open a device and you'll see like a font will be, it'll just be something boring like Helvica or something because it doesn't have that font that you have. So rather than putting it in, it's just gonna put in a random font. So just keep that in mind that you do need to do it on any device that you're gonna be using GoodNotes. You need to do that same process. But anyways, I hope that was helpful. Mm -hmm.